say that it feels right Hi guys, welcome back here to Crazy Gamer. So we have, yeah, we've taken this car apart a lot. Um, that was from last video. We're still going to weigh at the end of how much we've taken out in in total, but all this will be probably distributed in three videos or something like that. Cause it is, it'll be like a. 40 minute video if it's just one so I'm not trying to do that to you guys cause I would not sit here and watch a idiot remove things from his car for 40 minutes so um wow that's so I removed my uh, and it looks that's the hole there but that's good you know it weighs less now um but yeah um she always has been leaking oil a little bit of oil but whatever so today we're gonna get uh, this removed, the uh, AC condenser crap, because as you know, that's my heater core, and that's my car. And I have no uh, dash, no nothing, and um, head, gas head gasket is definitely blown, I know that for sure now, because it's a Mustang. Hold up, bro. Let me change out my head gasket, I'll be... Out there in a sec. Just wait, like a couple hours or yeah. Right. Um. So the Mustang sounds so good. All right, so we got zip ties, easy access, just easy to remove. Just cut, cut, cut. That. Do you hear that Mustang? I really want to go, but then. All right. Um. Yeah. And hopefully I will remove the AC lines today. Don't know. I'm hoping I can. Not the compressor, because I would still I would need to buy a shorter serpentine belt. Is it serpentine belt or shorter belt? Because the compressor is is will be gone. So yeah. All right. Easy. Humper is held in by four zip ties. One, two, three, four. Wait, no. One, one here, one here, one on the side, and one up for there. Perfect. Air filter now remove the bar. Let's get to that. Here we are. Um, it's really simple. Just re remove all the screws you see, and it comes out. It's really simple. The ones that hold, I removed all of them, but something was holding in the radiator, and it was uh, these screws on each side. And now that the screws are done for, um, I just slide it right out, and that hangs there. But I have that tire there, which is not even doing it. Well, it's just hanging from the hoses, I think. Which is alright, I don't care. Um, now I need to figure out a couple screws there. I need to figure out how to take this bad boy out. This AC condenser crap thing in bedroom because I have no more AC. Now I finally have more cooling because of my radiator. Because that's not in front of it, so. Let's get this, uh, the, the car looks very bad, but in very bad shape, but whatever. Um. Very easy and simple, so let, let's just get this done with. So now that we have everything unplugged here, um, Sort of, bam bam, my hands are dirty, whatever. Um, now we got that line here that goes all the way to the back, which I believe is right back there, which I want to remove still.
looking. I'm going to remove this one, this line here that goes to the back, straight out the compressor, and this other line straight out the compressor. Right here, blah, 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 which is that line right down there. So that one's coming out. Accidentally hit the uh, stop button on my camera, but yeah. Um, so that's basically all what we're gonna do. Um, like I'm keeping that in right now. I'll take it out uh, whenever I start. You know, whenever I get a shorter serpentine belt. I don't want to get a shorter one right now, so I'll leave it in for now, I guess, because I still need my alternator and my power steering. Um, what is my water pump? Is it right? I think it's right back there. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, let's just get that done, I guess. AC delete. Ready. Done. Well, we got some stuff cleaned, you know, tried over there too. I tried. I was getting just all the wires that I, I don't need zip tied hidden. Like all these other wires. Uh, zip tied these wires. Um, here's my headlight wire. I only need those. So I'm just getting all the wiring crap I don't need, uh, just zip tied out. I don't want to cut it yet because if I ever sell the wiring harness, you know, I believe I have cut some wiring before, but you know, whatever. Um, so I was looking at my head gasket right here. So she's blown, but you know, I, I don't see any outer leakage, so it's like inside of the engine. Oh gosh. I'm worried about the head gasket, which we're gonna probably do next week because I just don't have time to, to do it now and I need to order the part. I'm buying a cheap head gasket, yes. I, I know it might blow up again, but I don't really care because I'm rebuilding the engine probably in a, in a couple months. So I don't need to waste $100 on, on a head gasket. Just buy a $40 one right now and because I'm changing it out when I rebuild it. So there's no point of putting a good one in it if I'm rebuilding a motor in in a couple months so uh just got all that now it's time to put the wait that then that then that the reversal process uh I'm really impressed of what I've done you know I'm I'm only 16 and this car has came a long way really long way um it's already st stage one Stage two, I wanted to go stage two, but now I'm worried <laughs> if this car can handle it. Um, then stage three with the camshaft. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <sighs> I was looking and check what I found. Oh yeah. Freaking bolt. This was for my intake manifold. I, I, I lost two when they fell down. There it was, and I had to go to the junkyard to go get one. I, I think I dropped two, to be honest. I, I think I dropped two, so the other one has to be somewhere, but whatever. Alright, so got the crash beam in, the top part right. Everything's in, you're good. I got the bolts in, up there, up down here. I got all the bolts, the crash bar bolts, because this is a 
save the light right here, this bar right here. Um, got headlights, bumper. That's really about it. And then we have all that's out. So much more space here. So much more space. No more lines here. And weight reduction. Hands are dirty, but uh, come on. Lighten up. Headlights in. Plugged in. You know, I just put the top one in, not the bottom one, so it moves. But when the bumper's on it, this headlight rest rests is on it, so it doesn't actually move anywhere. But I just can't. You know, so much more space. You know, more freedom in this car, man. Less things to go wrong, and that's what I want. In this car is less things to go wrong. More stuff I have, more stuff will go wrong. Less stuff I have, less stuff will go wrong. Bam, easy. I still need to remove the compressor, but I'll be doing that once I uh, probably do take the whole en engine apart and change out the head gasket. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of work, but uh, I got this in the bag, man. I'm only 16, but like, this stuff is common sense. It's just put, whatever you take out, you put it back. Take out, put back. If that, that's, that's easy. All right, so. All right, man, jack stands are out. <laughs> Jacked up from the sub frame. About to lower it. Let's get this thing tires on. Slowly. Oh, there it goes. Ooh. Check out how low that is. Ha! Jack. Oh, she was stuck at first. She was stuck. The car landed on here. And there. <laughs> wow. <sighs> Well, the car from there to there, it's uh, four inches and a half. It's around four inches to five. So that's low. Well, it's nighttime. Uh, we're done. Got my hands clean. I had a bit of food. Um, now, the worst part about everything cleaning it up. But, um, car's on the ground. It's, now let's weigh everything we took out. 5 plus 12 plus 14 plus 17 plus 7 plus 18 plus 5 Wait, what? Wait, what? 78 pounds. 78 pounds. There it is. 78 pounds of weight reduction. 70... That's a lot. That, that's a lot. I've t I took out already 100 pounds the, the other time. 100 pounds. The other time was around 40 pounds. So like, whoa. It's you know, it's it's getting there. I still have a lot more to do. I'm gonna take out the foam. I I, I still have to take out the foam there and on the dashboard. So probably it's like 80 pounds then, because it's just a couple two pounds. So basically 80 pounds of weight reduction in the car. That's pretty good, and I still have to take out the compressor. I think like 10 pounds, 15 pounds. So almost, almost 100 pounds. Wow, that's pretty good, man. All right, got the battery hooked up. Always have to unlock the car, cause then once you hook up the battery, the car will think you're trying to steal it, and the alarm will go off, and don't go off alarm. Okay, I need my my key, my uh. Parting key. Alright. Got my handy dandy key here. Do -do -do. Um, I'm pushing the clutch. Definitely my blown head gasket. You, you can hear a little bit of a misfire. Little tiny bit. Alright guys, I just took her for a drive. We've done 1.1 mile. I came to get back my camera. Engine temperature is awesome, dude. Feels quicker, man. It's just... Uh... Well... I hear a lot of more en engine noise and air comes through there. But my turn signal are not working. I need to get that check, see what that is. Um, but... I'm, I just went around my neighborhood now. I'm actually gonna go on the street. So I'll be right back There's a ticking sound that's worrying me 
No turn signals, but she pulls hard though. Make sure you tighten your lug nuts. I went on a hook drive that was loose. That was loose. So two of them were loose. That's probably one of the reasons why my tie was scraping. And one of these were loose, but you can't really see. So I'm about to tighten them and then we'll go on an actual drive. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. So thanks for watching. Um next video probably ye be getting uh, the dashboard all nice hooked up to get all the switches in um, the push start switches and all that and I need to figure out why my turn signals are not working they're just not working um, but yeah guys thanks for watching be tuned for my next video and as always guys the impossible is always possible peace out